11 games so far due to an ankle injury. But the other reporters are suggesting he could be part and parcel of the Newcastle squad. I am super excited. Welcome back to the present. I am super excited, Martin Odega. According to credible reports and credible sources, is close to being the squad. Now, Simon Collins is reporting. As now hoping Martin Odega can report, return to the squad for next week's trip to Inter Milan. Midfielder has missed 11 games so far due to an ankle injury. But the other reporters are suggesting he could be part and parcel of the Newcastle squad. I am super excited. <laughs> yes, I am super excited. We know how Matnodega is very, very important to how we play this creativity, the pressing, the instigation of pressing, the leadership quality it provides on and off the page for us now is inexhaustible is something you cannot quantify pause before I continue this conversation guys do that kind of favor it's very very important i almost forgot please strike a like on the video extremely important if you're new here please subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell one more time for those who hear me the first time or those at the back like the video subscribe if you're new and make sure you turn on your notification bell like i said martin is back i am happy like people said there's a slight chance he might be available for the newcastle game uh, Mikata confirmed in the last press conference that he has been training for a few days, or say a few days, a few weeks on grass. That shows that he has been doing some individual training. So I'm happy. I am happy. Uh, unfortunately, this season we had some very, very unfortunate uh, cases with injury. Saka has been out for one or two games. Martin has been out for 11 plus games. Uh, the last game. Uh, what's his name? Gabriel Magalhães couldn't finish the game due to a potential knee injury. But according to reports, he should be fit for the Newcastle game this weekend. So thank God for that. Tom Yasu, who just came back, played a few minutes against Southampton, got injured, and has been out since. So we've not had the rub of the green when it comes to injury. But I'm happy. It's just nine games. And we've had a few injuries. Hopefully, the second half of the season, or from this time moving forward, we do not suffer the similar fate of injuries. I'm, I'm happy our players are beginning to come back. Jesus is back. Sakai is back. We're here. Martin Odega is going to be back very soon. I am ecstatic going forward. I'm ecstatic going forward because we need these quality players if we want to negotiate winning at least one or two trophies this season or potentially wrestling the, uh, the, the premiership title from Man City. You need the lock of injuries. It's very, very important. I understand injuries are part of the game. Very, very, but you have to hope that your best players, keyword your best players, are not injury prone or are not getting in injured often. Very, very important. Like, I'm happy this season so far. No, Touchwood, I don't jinx it. Thomas Pate has been fit, fit enough to even play right back in certain games, and he has negotiated playing right back fantastically. So, I'm happy for the potential return of Odegaard now. I am not sure he'll be fit enough for the Newcastle game. Let's see if he'll be on the bench. But according to Simon Jordan, sorry, <laughs> scratch that. Simon Collins, rather, he should be in for the trip to Inter Milan. How happy are you guys? The fact that our captain, Captain Fantastic, a key player in how we we'll play the game, offensively and defensively, is back and ready to play. Both Touchwood, if there is no setback in his rehab, Touchwood, when he comes back, he doesn't sustain under injury. Touchwood, Norway can be sensible and understand you don't need to invite our players, this might sound selfish, to some needless friendly matches that Norway will be negotiating. So I am happy. I'm ecstatic. Martin is back. Let's see how he can propel his team because he's the captain and propel Arsenal to the not just the Premier League trophy, maybe the Champions League, maybe the Carling Cup. Maybe the FA Cup. We need our best players to win this trophy. So I'm happy. Very ecstatic. So let's see whether we'll see him this weekend or we'll have to wait till the midweek in the Champions League upper weekend to see him. What do you guys think? I sense Ateta would not want to risk it this weekend, but potentially we should see him on the bench against Inter. But at the same time, I would not be surprised to see him on the bench against Newcastle. 
I know one area will not get a chance to play at the weekend. We know at the time we'll go with Trossard. He likes the familiar spirit kind of <laughs> of thing, like familiar players and the experienced senior players. But we know that he risks uh, one area. My problem is that why can't you play one area in certain games because of he's a better profile as that thing than Trossard. I don't have any hate for Trossard. I love him. I understand his strengths and weaknesses. And one area, is love, I love him and strengths and weaknesses. Pause. I mean, Agape love for some of you have some ideas in your head, which I understand. But what I'm saying is that why sometimes can Ateta just be bold enough to play certain profiles in certain games? So what do you guys think about Odega potentially getting back? Let me know in the comment section. Like the video on your way out. Very important. Like the video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the reaction bell. I'll wait for your comments in the comment section, and I'll tell you guys bye for now, and I'll see you guys in the next one.